There's no fucking reason this should be happening. But it is. And we have to live with it. I'm going to stream for three fucking hours, okay? I'm going to. I don't care how many times we crash. I don't care how many times we crash. I'm going to stream for three hours today. Okay? This is bullshit. Why is my phone not connecting? Phone. Open up YouTube Studio. Come on. It's right there. It is right there. You, you just do what you've always done. Ugh. I am really sorry, everyone. I did not want today to go this way. In the slightest. Ever. I never want today to go. I, I never want any day to go this way. I don't wish this upon anybody. This is just horrible. Okay, so here's here's what's gonna happen because I did just remember after that second crash happened, I did just remember one other thing besides temperature issues that could be causing the problem. And that is drivers. I do in fact recall that my graphics driver still very much needs to be an updated. Like there is an update for my graphics driver from August 31st and I can't install it. I don't know why I can't install it, I just can't. Because I opened the GE Force experience and I, I do the whole express installation. And then it loads. And... Wait for it. Right now it's saying preparing to install. So it's preparing to install the GE Force Game Ready Driver. And now it says, installation can't continue. Why can't it continue? I don't fucking know. So, we're going to do this. We're going to swap over to good old-fashioned Google. Installation can't continue. NVIDIA, help me. So. What I did to enable me to update install via GeForce Experience was to disable the antivirus real-time scanning to off. Uh, you know what, we're, we're gonna try that. So, antivirus real-time scanning. That's gonna be in settings, right? Uh, settings. Du, du, du. You're not seeing any of this, and I'm not going to let you see any of this because this is all private information that's showing right now. So it's just going to be just chatting for now while I figure this out. Uh, da, 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 dum. Update and security, maybe? Windows security. Uh, nope, that's not showing me anything. Okay, so we're going to just search for this. 
disable antivirus real-time scanning. Also, when is this? So this is from a month ago. So, all right, turn off. So start settings, update and security, window security, virus and threat protection. Manage settings. Manage settings. Where is the manage settings? Manage settings. Manage settings. Manage settings. Manage settings. There it is. Real time protection. Off. Yes, I know. I know. I should absolutely never turn that off. But maybe it'll work this time? Hopefully. I don't fucking know why a system like Windows Defender, which is supposed to scan for malware and protect your computer, actively harms your computer by preventing drivers from being installed. That's just fucked up. That is just fucked up. This is why I drink. This is why I knew I would need a drink today. Nope, we, we've still got the installation can't. We're gonna try one more time. What happened? My PC crashed twice so far in less than an hour while playing a game that it has never crashed before while playing. So I'm assuming the reason for that is I need to update my driver. So we're doing that now. We're just doing a just chatting just chatting stream while Haru tries to figure out why my driver can't update. Because I'm trying to install the driver and then it says installation can't continue and I don't know how to make that not a thing. Okay, this is still a problem. Uh, however, I didn't go hunting for files or anything when attempting to fix it. I literally just closed down GE Force Experience and reopened it. Went to the driver's tab. It still had express installation radio buttons there, so I just clicked the express one and it worked fine. So the old did you turn it off and on again may work for anyone with this problem. And then we've got three things that aren't even in English. Well, we're going to try that next. We're going to try the good old fashioned close it, reopen it, turn it off and turn it back on. Maybe that'll work. I don't think it'll work, but we'll give it a go. The reason I don't think it'll work is because yesterday, oh, thank you VTuber Eats. Yeah, yesterday, my, or was it yesterday? Maybe it was the day before. I don't know. Sometime recently, I also tried downloading this exact same driver and it gave the exact same issue. And now here we are today, on a different day, after GE Force Experience having been closed, and therefore I reopened it, and it's still giving me issues. So I don't think the closing and reopening is going to fix anything either. But we'll hope. We live in hope. All we have left is hope. Because everything else doesn't fucking work. Nope, it's not working. Okay, what's next on the list? Uh, we tried that. It didn't work. Uh, so. Hello, for some unknown reasons. Oh, holy shit.
Wait, I'm very confused. This entire thread? The original question is from six years ago. And then the entire thread goes backwards in time. So it starts one month ago. And then it goes to six months, to eight months, to ten months. Why is that a thing? I mean, I guess it's trying to feed you the most current information first, but none of that is relevant if you don't know what the current information is in response to. Anyway. Yes, hello for some unknown reason. And even nowadays, GE Force Experience won't be able to run the freshly downloaded driver installation program. In, make, in my case, I tried to update to driver version this. For those who don't want to re-download manually the drivers, GFE store downloads in the hidden program data folder at the following location. Locate the most recent folder, launching the driver installation program as an administrator from here appears to work. Okay, we're going to give that a go. So fuck you, GE Force Experience. You literally can't do your one job. So we're going to go to program data in the C drive. Yeah, my C drive is absolutely massive it's full of shit okay go to program data go to nvidia corporation hello morphe downloader look at the most recent folder so that's gonna be 9 5 2021 and here's an application. Oh wait, it said to do it as an administrator. But we'll try it anyway. Uh, sure. Do do whatever you want. Now download this driver. All right, files are being saved to my computer. When complete, the driver installation will start and hopefully be able to be finished because GE Force Experience doesn't do its job. We're gonna hopefully eventually get back to Skyrim. But for now, my PC has just decided it has a billion different issues. Okay. So now we're at the graphics driver version 471.6.96 um checking system compatibility the bar stopped moving aha uh -huh, there we go uh, sure, agree and continue. Yeah, we'll do express. And now here's hoping this installer actually works. Preparing to install. I'm also going to be so pissed if I go through all this trouble to update my driver and it still fucking crashes when I try to play Skyrim. Because I did try... Back when this was a very frequent issue, I did try updating my driver and I th think that helped with a massive big fucking question mark. Because I don't know for certain if it helped at all. It might have just been a coincidence that after downloading that driver update, 
I stopped having these crashes as frequently. So we can live in hope, and that is literally all we have is hope. We don't have anything else for us. We don't have we don't have money, we don't have humanity, we don't even have love. We really just have hope. Because hope is all that's left. Hope is basically what my computer is running on right now. What's well, also really weird or interesting or I don't know what a fun fact and yes I don't know the meaning of fun fact because this isn't fun at all a fun fact is that my PC only ever crashes at all and only ever crashes in this one specific way when I'm streaming it never crashes when I'm not streaming I'll be playing, I'll be doing so many different tasks on my PC, you know, I'll be watching a stream in the background, I'll be watching two streams in the background while I'm playing a relatively intensive game, and it's fine. My PC doesn't care. It just runs perfectly fine, buttery smooth, no issues. It's when I'm streaming 